What's going on everyone? It's James here with RTA Outdoor Living. And you may be in the process of doing research for an outdoor kitchen project. And one really important aspect of an outdoor kitchen is going to be the materials that it's constructed out of. After all, the materials are what makes up the foundation of your outdoor kitchen. And since there are a few different materials or types of construction that can be used, I'm here today to help you understand the different materials that you'll find across the market and walk you through the pros and cons of each. When you think of how an outdoor kitchen is built, they are most commonly constructed in three layers. The first layer being the structure or the frame, the second layer being the surface that you apply the cladding material to, and the third layer being the cladding material itself. Okay, let's get started with what makes up the structure of an outdoor kitchen. Most outdoor kitchens are constructed with a frame system to make up the actual structure. These frames are typically made out of either metal, wood, or concrete block. Metal frames are by far the most popular, typically due to the availability as a lot of companies can provide metal frames that are either custom built or there are out of the box designs available. Steel frames can be challenging to work with if you're attempting a DIY project as steel work is just generally not for beginners. If you live in an area where there's a lot of moisture or live in an area where there's freeze thaw, the steel frame can rust and corrode over time, which can compromise the integrity of the structure. Wood is typically going to be the most cost effective option, and from a building perspective, it takes the least amount of the building experience. Wood does come with its challenges though. Wood frames can rot away over time, which can compromise the structure of your outdoor kitchen. Wood frames are also notorious for attracting bugs and insects that can eat away at the wood. The last consideration with wood is that since it is a combustible material, you will have to make sure the proper safety precautions are taken while building. You will have to use insulated jackets for appliances like grills, side burners, and any other cooking components. If the proper precautions are not taken, you could easily end up with an outdoor kitchen that is a fire hazard and that is not safe for you and your family to use. Concrete block is becoming less popular, but it still can be a great material to build an outdoor kitchen structure out of. Concrete blocks are very durable and can hold up in almost any climate. Concrete is a non-combustible material, so you won't have the same safety concerns you would have with wood. On the downside, it is becoming less popular because of the trade skill that is involved, as you will typically have to hire a mason. Concrete block construction is typically going to be the most expensive option, and because concrete block is the heaviest out of all the options, you will typically need to have structural footings to support the weight of your outdoor kitchen so your patio or deck doesn't settle over time. Okay, once the frame is constructed, you will apply the surface that you will be attaching your cladding material to. For wood or metal frames, cement board or backer board is the material that is most commonly used. The cement board would be attached to the outside of the frame and is really designed to be the barrier to protect it from outside moisture. Since most cladding materials require a, a masonry surface to bond to, cement board is a cementitious product and it will provide an adequate surface for the cladding material to bond to. If your outdoor kitchen is being constructed out of concrete block, you can completely skip this step because concrete block is a masonry surface so you can apply the cladding material directly to it. Let's talk about cladding materials. Now that you have the structure of your outdoor kitchen built and have an adequate surface for the cladding material to bond to, it's time to consider what cladding material is best for your project. Stucco is generally the most inexpensive material, which has become a very popular exterior finish for an outdoor kitchen. Stucco, unfortunately, is not very durable in climates where weather conditions are not ideal, like freezing temperatures and high moisture areas. Tile can be fairly easy to install for you DIYers, and there are tons of different colors and styles to choose from, but tile is a pretty fragile material, so it will be especially vulnerable in areas of the country that have inclement weather. Stone and brick are traditional masonry materials that can give your outdoor kitchen a very natural and sturdy look to it. Uh, real stone can be very pricey and will most likely involve hiring a professional mason. Manufactured veneer stone, on the other hand, can be a more economical option and more DIY friendly. Countertops. Tile is the most cost effective of countertop options, but the grout lines on tiles are very porous and also difficult to clean, which can make the surface non-hygienic. 
Tile as a material is brittle and can be very susceptible to cracking and falling apart, especially in certain parts of the country. Limestone and bluestone. Limestone and bluestone countertops aren't very common, but they can be used as outdoor countertops. They are very heavy and the material is also very porous, so it's susceptible to staining if it's not sealed. These stones can't be internally reinforced, so although it's not common, they can crack or split if there is a temperature fluctuation or ground movement. Concrete countertops can be great for people looking for a natural and outdoor look to their countertop. Concrete countertops can be structurally reinforced to deal with temperature fluctuations and ground movement. Concrete is a softer and more porous material that requires ongoing maintenance and can be more susceptible to things like staining and scratching. Granite gives you a very sleek and contemporary look. It is a very hard and dense material that is easy to maintain and very resistant to staining with the right sealer. Granite does get very hot to the touch when in direct sunlight, so you may want to consider lighter colored granite unless your outdoor kitchen is going to be under cover and out of direct sunlight. Soapstone is a non-porous material that doesn't require resealing and even more resistant to staining than granite. Soapstone is a softer material, so it is prone to getting scratched, dinged, or even chipped over time. Quartz is an incredibly beautiful material. It is a very dense and hard material that is resistant to staining and scratching. However, it doesn't fare too well under sunlight, as it can yellow over time, and it also doesn't hold up too well to humidity and moisture. Stainless steel countertops don't have many benefits to them. They can be easier to clean and maintain, but they also absorb heat like crazy. Stainless steel, in our opinion, is better suited for your appliances and not your countertops. Okay, at this point, you should have a great understanding of what materials are used on an outdoor kitchen. At RTA, we use a very unique construction method and only use materials that are set up for longevity. Our islands are made up of structural panels that are made out of a super high performance concrete mixture. And since our panels are structural, incorporate the finish as one monolithic piece, there is absolutely no need for a frame system that can either rust or rot away over time. You can avoid the traditional multi-layer process that is susceptible to moisture intrusion, which causes rotting or corrosion of the frame and also delamination of the cladding materials. Our system is engineered for any climate as the panels can withstand even the harshest environments. Since we use non-combustible construction, your islands will be constructed with safe materials. RTA is lightweight construction, so there is no need for structural footings. For countertops, we offer both a concrete and granite option. Both options are gonna be structurally sound and will be materials that can withstand different climates while also giving you different aesthetic options. Our concrete countertops are made using a super high performance concrete mixture and are also structurally reinforced with composite rebar and microfibers. Our concrete countertops have incredible flexural strength to deal with changes in temperature and also ground shift. The concrete countertops will require ongoing maintenance and resealing to protect them against staining. We also offer granite countertops that give you the option for a cleaner and more contemporary look. As mentioned previously in this video, our granite countertops also give you a surface that doesn't require as much maintenance and is more resistant to things like staining and scratching. As we always strive to be the leading source for information in the outdoor kitchen industry, we really hope this video provided you with some valuable insight on the material options you have for an outdoor kitchen project. We'll see you on the next one.